Hey everyone, welcome back to ConductorPlugin.com. In today's video, we're gonna show you our new add-on. It's called the filtering add-on. And what it does is it creates these displays that you can filter. Uh, and you can query your post, your pages, your custom post types, your WooCommerce products, your easy digital download products, basically whatever conductor can query against. We can then take that and display that into a filterable view uh, using categories, tags, uh, and other elements that uh, we'll, we'll discuss in other videos. But just for the basic example, here it is, a collection of cars categorized by color. And of course, when you click on these, it is gonna go ahead and change that display. So now let's show you how you actually set that query up in Conductor. So under Conductor and then Queries, we come in, we title the name of our query, of course, cars. We're gonna select from many posts because in our example today, we're just using re regular blog posts with some categories attached to them. Um, and then we're gonna, of course, leave it all categories because we wanna see all the categories and then allow our user to click on those category labels to filter that. Under the output section, we're gonna get back to this, but this is just default. So it's gonna show it in three columns with all of the metadata that we see down here, featured image, title, author byline, and so on. That's what's creating this uh, display right here. And of course you can see right here, three columns. Um, lastly, the most important piece is to actual, uh, actually enable filtering. Uh, if we disabled filtering, let's go ahead and disable filtering, hit update, go back to our test page, hit refresh you'll see that we lose filtering and it's just a standard uh, conductor query. It just says, hey, display all these posts. But with the uh, filtering enabled, enable it one more time. We're gonna select categories, hit update, go back one more time and hit refresh. Uh, and that's the beauty of conductor. And if you probably just saw that at a real fast glimpse that we're really separating the design elements and the technical sort of querying elements and that all the underlining code behind that and just saying, hey, we're gonna create the query for you. We're gonna give you some building blocks for displaying things in different ways without writing lines of code. It's not a page builder. Uh, you're not gonna go in and change colors and layouts of you know really complex nature uh, or fonts and, and image sizes and things like that. Uh, we're giving you the good solid foundation of a great query and some control output for you to mix and match different uh, views not going to really go to design with Conductor, but you're going to build these building blocks uh, that allow you to either create your own styles, use it in a page builder where you are using some uh, custom design elements. Uh, it's just a really great fit for people who want to have something that's more of a professional solution, gives you some flexibility using it on multiple projects and so on. Um, so let's go back to that output and I'll show you even further what I'm talking about, sort of uh, separating the display front end with the technical sort of back end stuff. If I wasn't happy with three columns, I could simply switch this to four columns and then maybe I'll get rid of the author byline, the excerpt uh, and the read more link because it's kind of redundant. You have featured image and title. I'm gonna go ahead and hit update on this. Uh, and then when you're done building the, the query, all you have to do is copy the short codes right here and then drop them into a page just like right here. This is the cars page. This is what it looks like in the admin side. And that's what's actually creating this display right here. Um, so I just changed that query. Let's go ahead and hit refresh and see what happens. Now you can see it's four columns. We've gotten rid of the, um, the byline, the, the read more text and the actual content, uh, text. And now it's just a much more of a traditional gallery, uh, this time in four columns. But at any point I can just come back and say, you know what? We're sick of the four columns. Let's bring it down to two, hit update, come back to the page, refresh. Boom, we now have two columns uh, to display our cars. And simply clicking on this, it just moves nice and fast. It's super efficient. Uh, it's a great way to create these, these queries. And then you can use that short code and put it on multiple uh, pages and posts. It doesn't always have to be on just one page. You can attach it to many posts and pages. Uh, and again, you can use it in a widget. You can use it in a Beaver Builder module. It's super flexible. It's available now at conductorplugin.com. Check it out. If this is the, this has been a big one. A lot of people have been asking us about filtering displays. Uh, we have a lot of other plans for it in the future. This is so, sort of our first step into getting into filtering. Um, it's not going to solve everybody's uh, use cases, but we think it's pretty efficient and it solves uh, a good chunk of people who've, who've been coming to us saying we want to build a, a richer portfolio display or a uh, filterable display of, uh, of products and, and, and custom post types with custom fields. It's a great solution for that. It's conductorplugin.com. We'll see you in the next video.